fight for Henry Hill is underway in earnest. Welcome back or welcome for the very first time to Worms and Warriors. We are here with Grand Tactician and we're going to work our way through the historical battle. First up, we've got the first battle of Manassas or first battle of Bull Run, depending on your perspective. We will play as the Confederacy as per the vote on the community tab which the confederacy won by a country mile to be honest we're going to play this on very hard we're going to leave the ai historical a quick word that this video is chaptered so you can skip ahead if you don't want to listen to any of the bits and pieces we can see some overview here so the the confederacy fields around 32,000 men the union 35 65 guns to the confederacy 60 uh, negligible cavalry on both sides 350 for the csa uh, and just 250 for the union so kind of like one regiment each historically this was they're classifying this as a confederate major victory i, I suppose it was the confederacy of course couldn't capitalize on their victory and pursue the union adequately due to disorganization and inexperience shall we say um casualty wise it was somewhere around 2000 for the for the confederacy and almost 3000 for the union so a bad day at the office for mcdowell historically um okay so it's the 21st of july 1861 it's the first battle of manassas let's do this Okay, dokie then, we're just about ready to start, so if you want to read these bits and pieces here, you can, of course, pause the video and read right ahead there, but I want to knock it off. Okay, so this is the battlefield. I've never played this battle on this game, but I am, obviously, I am familiar with the Battle of Bull Run. Um, now, the Confederacy's plan was to attack the Union from their right flank, so against the Union's left flank. That didn't happen because there was a flank manoeuvre carried out by McDowell on the confederacy's left flank so we know that it's like I, I guess it's kind of cheating having this hindsight thing going on um but we do know that so we know we need to move troops over to the left flank but i'm fairly sure that both johnson and Beauregard were aware that the union were flanking which is why of course they moved their troops across to their left flank which is exactly what we're going to do so there's a bunch of crossings here we've got uh, mclean's ford on the far right of our flank uh, then we've got Blackburn's Ford, where Long Street is, I think. Let's just come out of this HQ view. Uh, yeah, Long Street is there, backed up by artillery. Then we've got Bonham's Brigade at Mitchell's Ford, further along. Uh, we've got the 5th Brigade under George Cock, or Cook, however you want to say it. Uh, we've got Shanks Evans here, Garden Farms Ford. Now, this is the danger spot. Matthews Hill is going to be critical. Henry House. Uh, and Henry House Hill, I think, uh, Henry Hill, sorry. Um, we will have to occupy that with some of our troops if we can. We've got Kirby Smith back here. As we can see, it's the first battle for most of these guys, and maybe all of them. Might be all of them. Some of them might have been involved in some of the early, early skirmishes, but I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's the first battle for all of them. Anyway, yeah, so it's, it's pretty much the first battle for all of them. They're all reasonably poorly armed, uh, <laughs> just as I click on a, a, the 3rd Brigade here under Barnard B., who are armed with rifles, of course, <laughs> but most of the rest of them are armed with smooth bores, which obviously isn't great. But the Union is also not armed amazingly. I mean, I think they're armed slightly better than we are, uh, but it won't be great. Anyway, that's enough waffling now. I'm going to get started with this right away. We're going to kick off and we're going to go. We're moving all these troops to the left flank. I'm going to set that in motion and then we'll start the, the game proper, okay? I'll cut back in once I've given the orders of the guys to move across. Okay then, so I've given orders for Joe Johnston's force to move across onto Henry Hill. I've got Kirby Smith and Beckham's artillery moving across towards Henry Hill as well. Um, I'm going to leave Evans for now. I'm going to leave Cock for now, I think. But he's going to... I doubt he'll be staying here. He'll be moving at some point. Maybe we'll leave his skirmishers here. I am moving the Hampton Legion down to take over this crossing guard at Blackburn's Ford from Long Street. I'm sending uh, Holmes and his reserve brigade, the 8th Brigade, 1,400 men, to take over Mitchell's Ford defense from Bonham. Bonham's going to move his 3,000 Mississippi rifle armed troops away from there once they are in place, and we'll take it from there. But we're going to concentrate most of our forces on Henry Hill and hope it's not a big mistake. So Joe Johnston is already on the march. I've given long-range fire orders as well, and let's hope... None of this is too much of a mistake. Uh, what the hell? 
Hampton is marching that way. I don't even want him going there at all. Hampton is just to guard this crossing. I, I think that's that's the thing with this with this game. I mean, sometimes the decision making from the like the the routes that the the AI takes it's just it's crazy. Let's hope it works out. Okay, I'm going to speed this up. I'm going to get some guys in the position. So Matthews Hill is already starting to be taken, um, which we, we were always going to lose Matthews Hill. It's, that's fine. I was expecting that. Um, the key is here not to uh, act too quickly, not to engage our troops piecemeal. We need to uh, concentrate on Henry Hill and hold Henry Hill. Bonham is uh, Holmes is down here, so Bonham's going to move away. Hopefully he's going to go a sensible kind of way. I'm going to just move him slowly. So we're going to move him just next to Island Ford, and then he's going to move on from there. I don't want to give long marching orders for these guys because you just don't know what they're going to do. Stewart's out here in the front, as you would expect, that being our cavalry contingent, of course, followed by Jackson, Barto, and uh, B here with... Who's making up the rear? Oh, it's the artillery. Kirby Smith is coming up the Sudley Road. Followed closely by Beckham and his guns. They will press on the stone bridge, I'm sure of it, but I don't want to move Evans into place just yet. We'll keep him here. I'll move him a little bit closer because uh, there's also a threat to his rear, of course, especially with nobody on Henry Hill. The Beauregard's troops are taking a long time to get going. Why is Hampton going this way? What on earth? Why would this be a decision that he would make to go all the way around? I'm going to have to halt him and just send him back. Honestly, it's, this is, this is the, one of the things I forgot about this game. It's been a long time since I've played this game, a few months. Uh, I used to play a lot, play this a lot, but it's, it's so much so much annoying stuff. It, it gets to you after a while. <laughs> it really does. Okay, so Burnside's there. We've now lost Matthews Hill. We've got brigades of infantry marching around our rear. Kirby Smith is coming up towards Henry Hill. And we will not panic too much here. Um, the majority of the fighting is going to be probably in the next hour or two. Joe Johnson's boy still moving up. We're going up nice and steady. Uh, a bit too steady for my liking. Why Why do they feel the need to cross the road? I mean, the, the stream. It's just it's crazy. You've got to micromanage all this crap. I'm just keeping an eye out on Evans's rear because if we have to, we'll have to have to turn and fight. Uh, he still hasn't marched forward. Kirby Smith is approaching Henry Hill, so at least I'll feel better when his two thousand men are in place there. Stuart's cavalry is on the march as well. I'll try not to engage the cavalry. We'll keep them there just for the. For the, uh, the the buff that that gives to the surrounding brigades, if we can, I mean, it's possible we might need to press him into the fight. But if we don't have to, then we don't have to. Uh, Philip St. George Cock as well here. Garden Lewis Ford. I mean, he could could probably move him. I don't know if they're going to press on that. Evans is finally on the march. Just coming down a little bit. See if we can see anything over the river. I don't. I doubt we will. The Union are still waiting for their troops to come across, so they're not in any hurry either, which suits us right down to the ground, to be honest. Kirby Smith in place on Henry Hill, maybe along this fence line. Maybe not. Get Beckham's guns up here. A nice fire in position to Henry Hill. Uh, this is a battlefield I would very much like to visit one day, but, you know, it's uh, the other side of the world as far as I'm concerned. So I don't know if it's going to happen, but I would love to see it. They are pressing forward now. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get the skirmishers out from Evans's brigade just to see if they can pick up anything else, any movement or anything like that. These are armed with Mississippi rifles, so a nice bit of range on them. Okay, so Kirby Smith is in place. The cavalry is moving up. However, there's still only 2,500 men on, on Henry Hill here, and that is not a lot of troops. They're still on short-range fire order, even though I've given long-range orders, but they haven't seemed to have come through. No sign of the enemy. Oh, there, there are some enemy troops here. The first brigade, is that Sherman? That's Keys. I think Sherman's over here normally. Yeah, Schenk, maybe? Or is that Sherman? I don't know. Hard to say. But the, the Union hasn't done anything just yet. They're still getting in position. It is 10 a.m. here. Very thoughtful of them to let us get our guys in place. They are moving artillery up towards the stone bridge as well. Let's get Bonham moving up this way. If we 
place him here, he can reinforce anywhere we need him to go. Ah, they are pressing on the bridge now. Is it going to be a coordinated attack? It looks like it might be. Thousands of troops pressing on this stone bridge. I'm going to leave the skirmishers here from Philip St. George Cock. We're going to move the rest of the 5th Brigade up this way. It is a risk, of course, just leaving skirmishers. But they are backed up by uh, six guns as well. Our guns have opened up. Jackson's boys are almost in place. Evans hasn't moved forward. I mean, oh, are they pressing up to this? Is there a four up there as well? Could be. Either way, we've got a couple of brigades coming towards us. Uh, he hasn't moved yet either. Well, hey, Hampton is almost in place here, so we can get Longstreet moving backwards. It's going to take him forever to get into any sort of. No, no, no. It's going to take Longstreet forever to get into any sort of area where he can fight. I mean, so far off to the right. Okay, three brigades are heading towards the Stone Bridge, and Evans has still not moved. Beauregard is still miles away. The one good thing is that these boys have not attacked us yet on Henry Hill. I think they're still getting in place or getting ready. Uh, but that's given us a chance to get our boys in position. Uh, he still hasn't moved either. Nobody's like, nobody seems to be in a hurry to do anything here. Yeah. Union troops are across the river. Are we fighting them? Or are we just standing here? Doesn't seem like we're doing a lot. Well, we're firing anyway, so that's something. Slow moving here in this strange terrain. All right, so we've got uh, Barnard B getting in position here as well. We've got two brigades now guarding Stone Bridge. I feel a bit better about that. Uh, Pendleton's guns are also moving up to give a little bit of support there. If we can, we'll pull one of these brigades away to hit these guys in the flank once stroke if they attack us, which I'm sure they will. We do now have decent numbers up on Henry Hill. Let's just make sure nothing's going on on our right flank. That'll be just our look. Still quiet over there. Uh, Borogard's boys are now on the march as well, and Bonham is coming into place. They are tired.
I mean, why Evans has now decided to move forward, I don't know. I've just ordered them to lie down, but he decided to move forward here, I guess, just to get in the way of the second brigade here. The third brigade, even. Here we come. I think this is going to be their attack on Henry Hill. Jackson's boys in action here. Barto also joining in the fight. We're taking a handful of casualties. Jackson and Barto holding their own though. fight for Henry Hill is underway in earnest. The Union artillery has crossed the river to the north. The Union attack seems to stall completely. Um, not really a lot going on. Bartow's lost about 30 men. A nice firing line of artillery set up. I'm sure these guys are in our range. Why are we not firing? Come on, you must be able to hit something. Pretty, they're, they're in the firing arc. Why on earth are these guns not firing? Then again, what on earth is going on here? Why are they not coming at us? It's up to the Union to attack us. We, we had to defend our position. We are taking artillery fire uh, casualties here, which I don't like one bit. And we're not really firing in return at all. Why 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 can they not get a shot? I'm gonna try and move these guns across this way to see if we can get a shot on them. I mean these guys are in the firing range, so why on earth are we not hitting them?
See if we can throw these Yankees back. What the hell? So the guns we moved out to the left just didn't do anything at all. Except get slaughtered. These guys from the 1st Brigade are just standing in the open taking unlimited casualties and they're not bothered. Bardo's lost a few men but they are routing. Or about to route. Oh, honestly, Bardo's men have routed That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Would we like to maybe push forward and attack these guys, or just not bother? And the AI on this game sucks so much, it's crazy actually. So we sent Bonham across the river to engage his artillery. They haven't done anything about it at all. Pendleton's routed with four losses. I don't really understand how or why that would be. But that's this game for you. And this whole brigade is running away with 60 casualties. All right. Because that happened all the time. 60 men running. Uh, 3,000 men running after suffering. 60 losses.
Oh. Oh, guns are running with seven losses. Okay. Like, what are you supposed to do with this? We're going to have to move forward. We're going to have to be the, going on the offensive because the AI is just sitting there. Now, Bardo's reformed at least. Alright, let's get going here. So these are just detachments. We've already defeated the a lot of the artillery that was here. And the infantry detachments manning the guns. Which will just keep happening again and again. I mean, this is pure BS, of course, um, but what can you do? Let's go. Let's get this done. One way or the other, we'll either win or we'll lose. Let's get started. Let's get going. We're pressing on Matthews Hill. It's not going too well. Uh, we lose 50 men and our guys start running. It's just no good. We're attacking uphill into woods with very shaky troops. The Union is essentially fighting a defensive battle, even though it's, they're here to attack us. It's ridiculous.
Well, we're trying our best. I mean, again, here we've got 100 casualties. Nervous. They've got 400 casualties in this brigade, and they're just fine, even though troops are routing all around them. Jackson's away. 250 men lost. Uh, Jones is about to break. I mean, come on. We're going to throw another brigade into the attack here. Early, uh, Ewell's going to press forward. We haven't really got anybody else to throw into this. Yeah, there we go. That's uh, Jubilee Early's away. It's uh, it's just ridiculous, really. But we're going to press on. We'll see where this goes. <laughs> no way good, I'm imagining. Brigades just running away. I mean, 160 casualties. 255. I know it's their first fight, but, you know, come on. 69 casualties for Bonham. And he hasn't reformed. To me, he should be taken out the back and shot after that performance. So we're getting like a rear attack icon, but nobody's attacking us. Just press forward, Kirby Smith. Don't worry. All right, the enemy's retreating. I mean, this was a shamble of a battle. Uh, it reminded us why I why I'd gotten a bit sick of this game because this was ridiculous. Um, 1,700 casualties for the Union and 1,000 for us. So this was a bit of a shambles. This is the first one I've done for a while. I'll, I'll have a go at some of the other battles off screen and we'll see how that goes. Um, but let's have a quick inspection of the battlefield. It was a muddle. Nothing happened on the right flank at all. The, these brigades didn't move. The, the Union never pressed an attack. We had a counter-attack against Matthews Hill and that was pretty much the end of it. What did you make of it? Let me know in the comments. Uh, shambolic, slow, annoying. Uh, but anyway, I hope you did enjoy it or you got some enjoyment from it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think of it. And I'll be back with another one. But if the other ones, if the next one is also this bad, then maybe we won't be pressing on with this planned series. I'm really not sure yet. We'll see you in the next episode. I'll catch you later. If you're not, new, if you're not subscribed here, then why not hit that subscribe button and follow along for more. Ta-ra for now.